What's going on, fellow YouTubers? I am Augustine Versace. This is O'Neill Media. And as usual, you are awesome. Now today, I would like to talk about how sometimes you cannot trust the help. Some little baby had to find out the hard way. So let's get into it. Alright? You just can't never, ever, ever have things simple and easy, man. I mean, what can you do when you can't trust the help? That's something little baby found out this weekend, over his birthday weekend, after there were so many festivities. I'm talking about he had James Harden come out, give him a Prada bag, because he's proud of him. What? Then his girl came and acted out and gave him one of 12. Richard Milley watched. Bow! Not, not this one, not this one, but it was amazing. And then even his boss came out and got him the brand new car. Estimated about 150,000. Lightweight, that's slight. Little gift. But this man was showered with gifts and shown much appreciation for his birthday. But there was something nah. over to the side, getting ready to mess up his birthday. That something was a professional, a professional, let me repeat it one more time, a professional sex worker named Miss London. Now, I'm gonna be clear. Miss London, you're making people look bad. Really bad. There's probably a lot of people in the industry that you work in that get a bag off of shaking that ass. And you just violated so hard. First thing, she comes out on Twitter. I went on her Twitter page and I would never tell you to go on her Twitter page, but uh, might wanna check it out. But she went on a rant on Twitter and she really just said like, best D she ever got came from a rich guy. Came in the room, didn't say two sentences to her. Grabbed her, pinned her to the mattress. Not the bed, but the mattress. Whatever, verbiage, yeah. So, then, in response, Lil Baby says, Hey, chill, ma. Nothing happened. I was with my lady the whole time. Yeah, uh, quick caveat. Please like, subscribe, ring that bell notification so you can be back here every time I talk about what's going on in the hip-hop culture. I have a story that kind of relates to this. I had a birthday really good birthday i'm talking about it as an adult i have never had a birthday party my entire life had a birthday friends my daughter's mom family all planned out this nice birthday for me had a nice party then my actual birthday weekend i was feeling good my lady had got me some stuff for my birthday like i don't like my birthday i have a whole mixtape called fuck my birthday that's another story. But I was feeling so good that I was just merely rocking through the weekend, you feel me? Busting moves wherever I could go. So my cousin JJ hits me up. Hey, cuz, happy birthday. Party this weekend. Let's kick it. I know a spot. Hella people gonna be there. It's gonna be lit. We gonna get you drunk. I said, sure. We go. Just so happens, I bump into an ex. Ah, not just an ex, the ex. You know the one. But anyway, long story short, kicking it, try to make peace between my ex and me, and yeah, I took a picture with her on my phone. Right. After this great, amazing weekend that I had for my birthday, I took a picture with my ex at a house party. No, my lady was not there. 
Long story short, stupid me accidentally sends that picture to my BM instead of deleting it. Bad move. But at least she didn't go on Twitter and say I pinned her to the mattress. Little baby. I don't know what to tell you, man. It's been one incredible year for you musically. Great album, lots of features. You're at the top of the game right now. But then you have people like Miss London. Oh my goodness. And the baby came out originally and said, no, I had nothing to do with this woman. She's capping, whatever, whatever. And then when she starts showing DMs, Baby's lady was just sitting here like you messing up the brand. I guess. To each his own, I don't know what the baby did. Not the baby. Lil Baby. The baby is a completely different story. That man out here wilding, but we're going to get to him in another one. Lil Baby says, look, if I pay you 6K and you talk, that's bad business, baby. And in business... There is a code of conduct. This lady clearly wasn't going by the code of conduct for business. And that right there is the travesty in this story. Because you can't be feeling yourself so much that you turn around and make dumb decisions. And yes, I saw her backside. Nah, nah. I ain't risking it for that. Not for that. But then I seen her riding that D. That's one for the books, bro. You gotta notch that. That's that's a win. All you women talking about, look what he got at home and look what he cheated with. First of all, he didn't cheat. Black men don't cheat. We have no proof that he cheated. But if he did cheat, yeah, you're not supposed to cheat with a woman that looks better than your lady. If you get caught, at least you can say, hey, it was just ass. I was just trying to fuck. I'm sorry. That broad ain't nobody. But what I will say is, baby, we gotta be more careful, man. You've been on a tear, my friend. You've been hitting song after song after song. You're not missing. You did something that up until this point I thought was impossible with the Migos being the biggest artist with the management group. QZ, like quality control, it was Migos, Migos, Migos all day. Lil Baby came through and he took over that spot and he went crazy for the year of 2020. It was an amazing run. You had an amazing birthday and you may have gotten an amazing time from somebody whose job is to give people amazing times. Please be careful out here, my friend. I do enjoy your music and I don't want you getting jammed up in any type of way. But yeah, after I seen that badonka donk, I probably would've gave her a throw baby. Two, you feel me? Yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, please remember, like, subscribe, ring that bell notification, and be back here every time I got a video with anything to do with the culture. Over here, we're gonna be talking about hip hop news. We're gonna be reviewing videos, reviewing songs, doing reactions. And please check out anything on my page. Like literally, check out anything on my page, go to the playlist, play the playlist. I got something for you in there, I'm sure I do. And if I don't, leave a comment and let me know what you guys wanna hear about. With that being said, peace. I love you guys. Mm -hmm.